Right then, this is a quick walking video, and this is for a Vauxhall Mocha X, and it's the Elite Nav um, 1.4 automatic, which is a heck of a mouthful. Um, car's covered 39,000 miles, 67 plate cars you can see. It's just come in as a part exchange to us, as those that know us well know that we sell predominantly Honda and some Lexus cars. Um, but obviously we do take cars as part of exchange. Um, this one is lovely. It's been really, really well looked after. Full history to it. Um, there's certainly the effort. The car's priced well below its true retail value. And that's not to say it's because it's in poor condition or it's got poor history. Quite the opposite. It's absolutely lovely with full history. It's just that we like to clear the uh, website for the um, Japanese stock that we prefer to have. Uh, go around the car, front of the car is lovely and clean, lights and lenses clear, intact, bonnet, can't see any obvious stone chips on there at all. The rear side of the car, beautifully smooth in the panels, no indentations that jump out to me at all again. Near side front alloy, terrific condition for a near side front. That's closest to the kerb quite clearly. Near side rear again, absolutely superb condition. And in the back. We've not even washed this car by the way, it's just been given the lightest of cleans on the inside, hardly needed anything. Um, but it's just got a natural gleam about it. Offside, again, beautifully smooth in the panels there. Some rear alloy, lovely. And the panel work is superb. This is the final alloy externally. It really is in absolutely fabulous condition. Let's go into the boot area. Good sized boot, very nicely finished actually as well, and in very good condition. It's coming to the back now, full black leather interior, good leg room, and the leather work for a family car is in absolutely lovely condition, I have to say. Let's go to the front and the passenger side, and all very clean and tidy. Finally, come around to the driver's side, door card, lovely and clean. Same with football areas. Now, there is, by the way, a full set of original tailored mats, which I've forgotten to put in. I'm always doing that these days, but i try and remember. They are in very nice condition. So, inside the car now, engine's running, so the dash is illuminated, as is always the case. You see sat nav working exactly as it should. It has been kept very, very nicely indeed. The dash binnacle, hope you can see 39,724 miles. Engine's running, and there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Only just to show you owner's manual pack and locking on that key, all him present with the car. Right, then, this is a quick road test video yeah, for a car I've never driven before, I have to say, in terms of the make and model. Um, this is a Vauxhall Mocha X 1.4 Elite Nav Auto. Uh, quite a mouthful. Um, car is registered CU67 XRZ and mileage at the start of the road this video is 39,719 miles. The reason we do all of our videos and especially actually this bit, the road test section, is to ensure that if anyone's online looking at any of our cars they get to see the very car advertised actually in operation. Um, we've always felt it important mostly because like lots of people we've been to see cars have, which have looked perfectly good in photographs or description but only to get there and frustratingly find out that it's got an obvious issue that shows up when you drive the car. Um, we also do it on these very quiet country roads in this beautiful part of Gloucestershire and this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on and the hope is of course it'll be representative of what you'd feel yourself um, should you go on a test drive in the car. So coming to the car, um, it's been very, very well maintained, full service history, um, obviously low mileage, so you can expect it to be good, and it drives beautifully. Um, engine starts instantly, settles to a smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car, actually. Temperature gauge running about a half, which I do believe, according to Google, is where it's meant to be, and it's been running, uh, so that he's just driven it to us over an hour, so clearly up to full operating temperature. Um, but the engine's very nice, um, 
the first thing you notice or don't notice is the noise because it's it's very quiet in operation I have to say um, Foxhall and Fairness have always done quiet quite well actually uh, but you put your foot down it's really keen to pick up and go uh, got plenty of oomph plenty of power um, but yeah it's a very very pleasant unit indeed engine and feeds into the auto gearbox um, uh, shifts slick smooth on the move uh, again it's uh, the things you obviously you're looking for any car that you drive used ones particularly just for let's say out for any kind of clunks or thuds it's engaging gear and there's none of that it's all very very slick and smooth smooth um, coming on to the steering chassis um, again for the first thing you notice because I didn't drive a Vauxhall a lot long ago and I found the steering was very light but that's this is actually really nice it's um, got substance a bit of weight to it um, but it's also tracks absolutely dead straight there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit um, you know it's, it would be a stretch to say the car, the car was sporty because it isn't uh, but what it does it does really rather nicely um, steering as I said it's got nice weighting to it but when you do go through the corners it's it's accurate and precise all the things you really want from a car it doesn't feel phased or unsettled in any way um, going through the corners and it works well with the chassis the chassis responds nicely there's not great sort of lurching as it going through the corners or lots of body roll and um, it's all well controlled um, but it still manages to offer you know, a very very comfortable and compliant ride um, worth pointing out there's absolutely no clunks rattles anything from underneath the vehicle so all in good order there and uh, brakes as I've just found out are very good indeed um, they pull up nicely there's no sort of pulsing or vibrations on the brake pedal at all uh, wait till we get past this chap but yeah I mean the brakes are you know very very reassuring I have to say uh, the whole car just feels you know, exactly what you'd expect of a low mileage car it just feels tight and taut on the road no kind of sort of nasty surprises at all um, and then finally coming inside the car um, it's nicely put together it's very nicely laid out um, material quality seems very good seats are really nice in the car as well um, all seems to be working exactly as it um, should I'm going to be brutally honest I've not gone through every single button on the dashboard because I don't know how it all operates my first time in the car but I have managed to illuminate the sat nav which is working exactly as it should air conditioning ice cold in the car so all functioning perfectly um, but it said, it said the layout's really pleasant very nice on the eye when you're looking at the gauges instrument cluster in front and um, sort of nice clear white on black dials I know it's got a kind of a trip meter and stuff in the middle but nothing that distracts from you when you're driving along on the car and you've got this really nice um, leather bound steering wheel um, it, worth pointing out we've not cleaned the car it's literally just arrived um, it's not been cleaned but it's in very 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 nice condition in here and hats off to the last owners very very nice couple I have to say who've looked after the car very well it's, um, it's a credit to them in all honesty I'm just going to swing around here I do tend to do slightly longer videos on the Hondas and the Lexus just because I've got Kind of more knowledge of them and more to sort of natter on and bore people senseless with but you've, you've saved that privilege today um the point of the video as brief as this one actually is is just to show the car operating and uh, feedback on any obvious issues i can't find anything it drives absolutely beautifully i have to say through gritted teeth as always